Hey everybody and welcome to Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to be talking about easy food ideas on the trail. Now this is for backpacking. This isn't necessarily going to be related to any kind of car camping or anything like that. This is uh, geared toward high calorie, low volume, low weight meals. So that's what we're going to get to. So you can see we have a just a ton of different food ideas on the table. So I think the easiest way to do this would be to maybe break it up for uh, maybe breakfast, then lunch and dinner, because they're all kind of interchangeable there, and then my favorite thing, which is snacks. So let's do that. All right, first up, let's talk about some breakfast ideas. So over the years, I've just kind of limited myself to these breakfast ideas. I'm a person that just likes to wake up and just get on the trail fast. I'm not really into cooking an extravagant breakfast. I just want to get on the trail as fast as I can. So this is what I usually go to. Now, before we talk in greater depth about this stuff is we're pretty familiar with the dehydrated meals from, you know, Mountain House, uh, Backpackers Pantry, Packet Gourmet, that kind of stuff. Um, they also make really easy breakfast ideas and pretty much any of their breakfast meals you can also put on a tortilla and make a little bit of a wrap for you in the morning, which, I, which works out really well. I've been kind of shying away from these expensive mountain house meals and just going with some cheaper options. Now these are great as far as calories, for instance, like this dinner right here, this chili, uh, this chicken and dumplings right here is 620 calories. So this is, this is ton and ton of calories. But I, I just keep going back to a, a bigger variety of uh, just stuff that's easier to cook and really takes no brain power to get it in your stomach and back on the trail. So let's talk about this. So first thing and foremost, my favorite breakfast is usually just, you know, some simple oatmeal packets. I mean, um, this is uh, essential every day, great value, really, really cheap stuff. Quaker oats, obviously. My favorite is strawberries or strawberries and, and cream. Now, most people know that you can simply just kind of boil water and then put these kind of into your pot and then you have a big mess by the time you're, you're done eating. And, uh, you know, you've got to kind of clean up your pot before it turns into oatmeal cement. So what you can actually do with these, and I've done this for a couple years now because it's amazing, is you tear off the top, you boil your water in your pot, and then you can actually pour the water in these little packets. Now, I put these inside either my pot or my reflective pot cozy I made out of Reflectix, and they stand up very well, and you just gotta make sure you kinda stir it up with your spoon to make sure you get the corners. And that works really well. After you're done, you can just throw this out and clean up your spoon, so you don't have to clean up your entire pot whenever you cook oatmeal. So a lot of people don't know that. I really recommend you try it at least. If you don't like it, you can always go back to the pot. Another thing is, you know, your good old Pop-Tarts. Uh, again, my favorite flavor is strawberry here. So these Pop-Tarts will give you a burst of energy, but they won't, they won't be long lasting energy. So I highly recommend that you have something solid like oatmeal or these are which I'm going to talk about next. And then Later on down the trail, you can have your honey bun, which is absolutely delicious, or your Pop-Tarts, and get you an extra little burst of energy and some calories. Like I said, this isn't really a good breakfast meal for sustained energy throughout the day. Now, speaking of sustained energy, we're looking at these Carnation Breakfast Essentials. This is just a, like a chocolate milk kind of thing. Uh, you put it in a, like a little Gatorade bottle is, is the best size for these. I do two of them, and these, I forget how many calories are, there's something in the range of like 180, 150 calories a packet, which is really great, and also if you really didn't want to cook, um, or excuse me, if you didn't want to heat up water for coffee, you could add your coffee into these and just kind of get your caffeine fixed that way. So breakfast essentials, uh, my favorite is rich milk chocolate, it's kind of the only one I've tried, but I really don't like any of their flavors that they offer. So that's really good. Speaking of coffee, there are plenty of like instant coffee ideas. I know some people like to bring their, uh, their coffee press out there, but for me, uh, it's taster's choice all the way. I like it black. If you're a person that doesn't like black coffee, I highly recommend the Starbucks Via. 
Uh, you can get these little one inch by two inch uh, little baggies on Amazon. Just search, you know, baggies one inch by two inch. And I put sugar in here and then you can get uh, coffee mate to go creamer or you can just get, you know, powdered milk or whatever you, however you like to take your coffee and you could drink it that way. So I prefer the taster's choice black coffee and without anything in it. It's not going to be like a, you know, something out of a Keurig, but it'll taste just fine to get me on the trail. Something else that I do, uh, sometimes in the morning, I've included this uh, in the breakfast area because sometimes I put this in my oatmeal uh, for some added flavor or, you know, I'll just snack on these throughout the day. This is just uh, freeze dried, um, just fruit really. So this is, uh, this is apples and this is freeze dried strawberries. They taste really good. These are from uh, Simply Nature. And uh, you know, they're really, really fantastic. So we were talking about the packet gourmet and the mountain house meals. Most of those breakfasts you can put on tortillas. So I've included the tortillas here. All right, well, I think that about covers breakfast. So let's move on to lunch and dinner. All right, lots of stuff to talk about for lunch and dinner. Let's get the big items off the table. So like I said before, mountain house, backpackers pantry, uh, this is packet gourmet. These are really good for lunch. They're pretty expensive for what you get, but they taste absolutely amazing. This is something that you probably want to look into if you're really into food. And most of these, um, they're just dehydrated meals that come with a little bit of condiments and you just put them on a, you know, a tortilla to make a little wrap. Like this is deli roast beef wrap. Now they don't supply the wraps or the tortillas for you, uh, but you know, you bring your own. Uh, you can even add a little bit of olive oil to any of this stuff that I'm about to tell you, or even some peanut butter for some extra calories if you need it. But these, uh, these are good, but they're expensive, but very high calorie filling meals. So let's knock those over to the side and we'll get into the stuff that I really like. Let's talk about this. These are simple uh, boil in a bag rices so you kind of just boil water set the bag in there for i think it's 10 minutes or so and then you have a bag of rice that you can eat you don't even have to really uh, put this in your pot you can eat the rice right out of the bag you just cut the top off uh, for that i definitely would throw some olive oil in there uh, olive oil is great to bridge the gap if you're if you have low calories throughout the day for instance this is a serving size of one tablespoon and it gives you an additional 120 calories. So you put like an extra tablespoon in here and now this 80 calorie meal has turned into a 200 calorie meal. So that's what I really like to do. And I use olive oil a lot on very high mileage days. Same thing with peanut butter. Now as far as peanut butter, they make little peanut butter to go packets. I've known people, especially my friend Gary, who have brought a whole jar of peanut butter on some longer hikes that we've done. For instance, the Superior Hiking Trail, which was a 240 mile, two week trip. And he ate an entire jar of peanut butter. So that's another option for you. So let's get rid of that. Uh, I think we've talked about the olive oil already. Uh, another really easy idea for lunch or dinner is, you know, just a simple ramen packet. I mean, this is 190 calories, 70 calories of fat. Uh, and you can add whatever you want. I mean, people have put, you know, vegetables in it. I sometimes put some spam singles in it. These are really good. They're like meat push pops. Uh, I just eat them right out of the package, no cooking necessary, but you know, you can throw these on your stove and kind of cook them a little bit if you'd like, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, but ramen is a great option. So Another thing is uh, these instant mashed potatoes. Instant mashed potatoes come in a variety of flavors and they are really, really filling. These for a uh, serving size of four is 110 calories per serving. So what I usually do is I split these up because that's uh, you know 450 or whatever calories is uh, quite a lot for one sitting, especially when it's mashed potatoes it's full of carbs and it's really filling. Um, a tip that I really like to do though is I like to take my ramen noodle, the flavor packet, and then half a packet of these instant mashed potatoes, any flavor that it comes with, and I put them all together, add two cups of water, and now I have what's called a ramen bomb. And again, you can add spam or 
vegetables or cheese or whatever you want to that and it tastes absolutely amazing and it's a really high calorie long lasting uh, meal for you and I love it for lunch and dinner. Uh, something new this year that I found uh, was these just you know Velveeta shells and cheese like kind of like just you know macaroni and cheese. Uh, it's a little bulky but it tastes really good for a little snack. Uh, there's 220 calories per package in here. Um, when you open the top, there's actually a water fill line. Now it says you have to microwave these. I never had a problem with just adding boiling water to this and letting it sit for a little longer. So, you know, 220 calories in just this, and then you can just squish this down when you're done and pack it out. So, uh, Velveeta makes these, Kraft makes these, great value, a whole bunch of companies make these, but these definitely work on backpacking trips, though they are a little bit, um, hefty as far as the volume goes. Another thing that is my absolute favorite meals are these nor sides. Now they come in pasta and rice. The rice sides are easier to cook because they usually don't require any kind of milk or margarine or butter or anything like that. But I've had pretty good luck, especially with the fettuccine alfredo. Uh, it says you need milk and uh, a teaspoon of margarine, though it's optional. Uh, what I usually do is I just put two cups in these. You can cook right in the package. Really, really simple. You don't have to dirty your pot. And then kind of just, you know, when you put the water in, just kind of fold this down a little bit very carefully and just kind of set that off to the side. And then you can eat it in about 10 minutes. And they are really good. Like I said, the fettuccine, the pasta, pasta north sides fettuccine is freaking phenomenal. And these little guys here, uh, have 250 calories per serving so and there's two servings in a package so we're talking about a 500 calorie meal with pretty much no prep time and these are delicious what I usually do though since these don't have a lot of protein is I supplement some tuna or some spam or some you know chicken creation same thing uh, and that'll give me my protein fix for whatever I'm eating with these north sides. While we're talking about protein, let's go into additional ways you can get protein through, you know, just chicken or tuna. So these are always at Walmart. I found at least my Walmart at least always has these. These are a great option because you need protein to recover your muscles throughout the day. If you're really, really sore, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you're probably not getting enough protein or you're hiking too far or not stretching enough. These kind of bridge the gap for me. The lowest that you can get is I think eight grams of protein. And that comes from the kind of the chicken creation. So I kind of stick to the tuna creations because they're 15 grams and up from what I've found. Each one of these packets, for instance, this is 110 calories. This is an additional 80 calories. And these just, like I said, bridge the gap with the protein and some of the north sides or some of the other meals that I'm having. These buffalo style, either the chicken creations or the tuna creations, I really, really love putting them on a tortilla, adding some peanut butter, maybe some pepperoni on there, and they just taste so freaking good. Speaking of which, if you just thought what I said was just absolutely disgusting, you guys have to try a tortilla with about 15 pepperonis, put tortilla on there, and then put a cheese stick right in the middle of it. It is so unbelievably delicious, and it's super high in calories. Pepperonis are just uh, one of those things that are just ridiculous uh, as far as calories and you know just their weight. So serving size is 15 slices of pepperonis, and you get 150 calories from that. You know, add the cheese, add the tuna, you're looking at a 300 to a 400 calorie meal. You can even put some spam on there if you'd like, but yes, peanut butter, tortilla, pepperoni, maybe some string cheese, which a lot of people are worried about, you know, string cheese. I was one of those people, but you can actually take string cheese outside for quite a while. As long as they're, you know, in their shrink wrap, they're not going to kill you or anything. They're not going to taste the greatest from you know, when they were in the refrigerator, but they do work very, very well, and it helps you get some calcium and some additional protein into your body. All right, well that covers lunch and dinner. 
let's talk about my favorite, which is gonna be snacks. Snacks are one of those things that are just, they're easy to shop for. You don't really even have to understand what you're doing. You know the snack aisle, you know what's good for you. It can be as good as, you know, dried fruits or as bad as Sour Patch Kids, which would you absolutely love. So let's get into this. We'll just kind of run it down. I don't really need to explain a lot to you. I mean, they're just snacks. So I like to have two different types of trail mix. I like to have my healthy trail mix, which consists of, uh, you know, some raisins, some almonds, peanuts, and possibly some sunflower seeds. All that's really, really healthy for you. It'll give you sustained energy throughout the day. But I also like to have another bag, which consists of either, you know, just peanut M&Ms with some regular, you know, nuts mixed into it. Or what I really, really enjoy is having a little boost of sugar. Uh, so what I do is I end up mixing one of these bags a day. So this size bag with Skittles and Sour Patch Kids. That is like my go-to trail mix munch throughout the day kind of thing on top of getting my healthy trail mix in. Uh, if you don't like to do trail mix, there's always you know these little fruit bars. I really, really recommend the Pressed by Kind fruit bars. They are absolutely amazing. I think they give you like five servings of fruit in one bar. Uh, another thing is the, just the Nature Valley bars. I, I know sometimes when you bite into it, it just crumbles into a billion pieces, but these are really, really good. Um, there's 190 calories in just one of these oats and honey crunchy bars. Uh, another thing to do is if you're still lacking protein uh, and you don't really like tuna or chicken, just eat some protein bars. I mean, I know that Nature Valley makes some protein bars. RX bars are absolutely fantastic. They are so high in calories and so healthy for you and they just give you a ton of energy. I don't have any here to show you. Uh, I, I thought I had them, but I must have missed them when I went grocery shopping, so I gotta go back. But RX bars, I can't recommend them enough. Some people don't like the way they taste, but if you can just get it down, um, I really like them. I really like the, uh, again, I think it's strawberry something or other, but really high in calories, really high in good stuff. There's cashews, there's dates, uh, there's some, I think some of nuts in there and a, a whole couple servings of fruit. So really good stuff. Peanut M&Ms, really, really good. Uh, I can't stress that enough. 250 calories for this little package. Uh, and it's semi-healthy. I know there's chocolate in there, but there's also peanuts, so. Uh, some candy bars. I really like um, Hershey's chocolate bars. Those are pretty good. But what I really, really like are Snickers. These things are like gold on the trail. And I just, you know, when I'm getting hungry and I don't really want to stop for lunch, you know, 250 calories in a Snickers bar. And they're delicious. They literally have everything you need to keep happy. And sometimes whenever I'm getting like, oh man, I hate this trail, I'll just eat a Snickers. Because, you know, you're not yourself without a Snickers. Anyway, another thing I like to do is, I know we've already talked about making ramen, but you can also open this package up and there's that their flavor seasoning. You just kind of sprinkle it on the dry ramen and just kind of eat it like that, like a, like a noodle bar, really. And it tastes pretty darn good. I mean, you're still getting all the calories, all, we're talking about uh, almost 280 calories for just this little package, so that's really good. We talked about this at breakfast, but you know, sometimes I'll just munch on these throughout the day. These are just dried fruit, and really anything works here. Um, you know, it's depending on how fast you want to eat on the trail. Uh, Spam is another one that we talked about. I really, really like these. Uh, again, you don't really even need to cook it. You got 210 calories for this tiny little package right here. Weighs practically nothing, and there's protein in here. There is nine grams of protein. So I know it's not the best for you. It's processed, obviously, way, way processed at this point. But, you know, with enough water intake, you're going to flush that sodium out of your body. So I don't know. I'm not a, a physician or a dietary specialist. But to me, intaking a lot of sodium is fine as long as you're drinking enough water to flush it out of your body. And sometimes sodium is good for your muscles and making that brain connection. Speaking of sodium intake, uh, well, let's just let's just get this out of the way first. You know, any kind of crackers. I really like Cheez-Its. 
uh, you know, peanut butter crackers. What are these? These are just um, mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. You know, any kind of cracker thing works on the trail. It might be crushed, but you can still eat the crumbs. Uh, and then going back to the sodium topic, this is something that is really, really important to do. And I saved it for last because it is so important. And hopefully you can see it with all the bottle caps on the table, but some, uh, some electrolytes. Your body, you're drinking so much water, you're flushing all this salt out of your body and sometimes you need to replenish it or you just start not thinking straight. And that's a really, really dangerous thing. So I always try to have at least one full liter of electrolytes a day. And what I can recommend is anything Mio, Mio Energy, you know, just put a couple squirts in your bottle. Uh, this will actually give you a little bit of caffeine. They make it without caffeine, you know, just the flavor will still give you electrolytes, but they also make it, you know, specifically electrolyte based. So that's what I ended up doing the energy stuff because it's really, really good. Another one I can recommend are Squincher Zero Packets. These are zero caffeine, zero sugar, but they still give you electrolytes. Uh, they have a whole bunch of flavors, including strawberry and lemonade. Of course, I went with strawberry. And this is really, really good. Gatorade makes some, some packets. I really like the blue uh, glacial freeze, I believe it's called. So check that out. I mean, there's a ton of drink mixes. Everybody makes drink mixes. I would highly, highly recommend it. Every day that you're backpacking, take a drink mix with you so you can restore those electrolytes back to your body. Anyway, that's it for my food ideas. Now, if you guys have any other food ideas and want to share them with the group, go ahead and comment below and I will definitely read those ideas. Maybe you'll give me some ideas. I'm sure you'll give me some ideas, but maybe you'll give some other people ideas is the big thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I am Frozen's Hands and I will see you on the trail.